Hi everyone, welcome back to Technon Tech TV. In this tutorial, I will show you how to draw use case diagram for online shopping system. So let's start. The use case diagram for online shopping system is the visual representation of processes involved in online shopping system. So basically, it is a way to show how shoppers and the online shopping system talk to each other. It shows how the system is put together and how it works. So it explains the system support structure and behaviors. The purpose of a use case diagram in UML is to demonstrate the different ways that a user might interact with the system. Use case diagram can summarize the details of your system's user and uh, their interactions with the system. So to build one, we'll use a set of specialized symbols and connectors. So the notation for our use case diagram is uh, pretty straightforward. Let's discuss it one by one. So the first one is the use cases. It's a horizontally shaped ovals that represent the different uses that our user might have. Next is actors. It's a stick figures that represent the people actually employing the use cases. Next is associations. So it is a line between actors and use cases. In a complex diagram, it is important to know which actors are associated with which use cases. And last we have system boundary boxes. So basically the rectangular boundary is the system. Use case fall inside it and actors will be placed outside it. So now let's draw a use case diagram for an online shopping system. Here first we'll draw the system boundary and then we'll write the use case name. This is mandatory. Now we are drawing general use case diagram for an online shopping system. So the general UML use case diagram for an online shopping system shows the main functions of the system. It shows the general processes of online shopping. It is based on the activities performed by the shopping admin, customers and seller in the system. So with the help of uh, general use case, the programmer will have the basis on what could be put into the consideration in creating the online shopping system. And specific use case diagram is basically when someone asks you to draw a use case diagram for specific functionality of the system and not the whole system diagram. So in exams also, they can ask you to draw user information management or they can ask you to draw manage products info and status use case diagram. So let's continue draw the general use case diagram. Here I am adding actor customer in an online shopping system. The customer is the main actor. So without customer, the online shopping system is of no use. So here I am using generalization. So generalization of an actor means that one actor can inherit the role of the other actor. So several uh, actors can play the same role in a particular use case. So in an online shopping system, customer can be of two types. First is a new user and the second one is a registered user. New users are those who identify themselves for the first time in the use of a particular website or an app. A registered user is a user of a website or an app or other systems who has previously registered. So a registered user normally provides some sort of credentials to the system in order to prove their identity. So I have added both types of customers. So what new customer will do is he will first register herself or himself on the online shopping website or an app. Correct. And at the time of customer registration, we need to authenticate the customer. So for that, I am adding an actor authentication service. So we can authenticate the customer using the normal sign in. And we can also save the user credential and login through the remember me method. And we can use the single sign on method. And here I am adding include relationship from user registration to customer authentication use case. So we use include relation when use case is mandatory and part of the base use case. It is represented by dashed arrow in the direction of the included use case with the notation include. So user cannot register himself without authentication. That is why I have added uh, include relation here. Next. Both new user and registered users can view items on the online shopping system. 
and for this also we require authentication right so i have added include relation from view items to the customer authentication use case view items use case is extended by several optional use cases so customer may search for items browse catalogs and add items to shopping carts or wish list so all these use cases are extending use cases because they provide some optional functions allowing customer to find items so we use extend relation when the use case is optional and comes after the base use case it is represented by a dashed arrow in the direction of the base use case with the notation extend so customer authentication use case is included in add to wish list because it requires the customer to be authenticated at the same time items could be added to the shopping cart without user authentication so for this i have added an extended relationship view items use case could be used by the customer as a top level use case if the customer only wants to find and see some products this use case could also be used as a part of the make purchase use case note that the checkout use case is included use case not available by itself so checkout is a part of making purchase so basically checkout use case includes uh, several required use cases at the time of checkout we required customer authentication right then only customer can purchase something from a website or from an app so at the time of checkout we can view and update the, the items and according to that we can calculate the total amount so checkout use case also includes payment use case which could be done either by using credit card or debit card and uh, external credit or debit payment service or with gp so you can add more payment services i have added only two so i try to cover most of the features of the online shopping system in this use case diagram so if you are thinking this is very complex diagram so you can simplify this diagram by removing some extra use cases you can remove this part and can directly connect the customer authentication use case to the authentication actor next we can also remove these extra use cases so this is how you can draw use case diagram on different topics This is just an example you can add various use cases and actors according to you so that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos mm -hmm.